equipment like a broom, a vacuum, or maybe great dusters. The mat you have in front of your entranceway door is a cleaning tool if it's made of the right materials and it's made by the right manufacturers. Don Aslett is one of the largest professional cleaning corporations in America. They clean over 400 million square feet of office and retail space every single day, every night. The very first thing they do when they get a commercial contract is mat every exterior door on a property because dirt that's trapped here doesn't get tracked through the rest of the house. <laughs> I want to introduce you to John Holt. He is our Don Aslett representative. Welcome back, my Thank friend. You, Thank you, Dan. Buddy. Great. The only thing is the mats that you normally produce are kind of utilitarian looking. Commercial looking. Yep. And that's not a great look for the house. Right. So you took a form of microfiber. Right. For anybody that has one of our microfiber mops, this is the most absorbent, best cleaning fiber there is. Okay. But to make it into a mat, it was kind of, it'll sprinkle up. So we put a special backing on this. This, this large mat here, Dan, is 24 mop heads. Okay. okay. <laughs> so think of this being a mop for your feet when you step on this. Okay. At, at a price of just $34. Unbelievable, The, the right? smaller mats are priced at 24 and we've got three colors. And let me run through the three sure. colors. Yeah. Over on the right, that's brick red, which we don't have a lot of. The brown, which has always been the most popular, sold out last time that you were on the air, mm -hmm. in both sizes. The sage green sold out as well. And it does take us months to get these back into our inventory. Yeah. <laughs> these, you want to put these on the interior. Exactly. Of the, your house. These dry your feet better than any other doormat that you've ever seen. We spent five years making these. We're not the original makers of microfiber indoor mats. Right. The ones that you may see in retail, they work okay, but when you wipe your feet on it, all you do is get a pile of lint. Okay. Okay. These are made like a carpet on a loom with backing. They do not shed. Great. Okay. Now, but the, the watch this demonstration. <laughs> okay. What we have is we've got a big baking sheet with mud, mud in it. Yes. Now watch. I'm going to take my work boot here. All right. I'm going to step right in this mud, nice and here. I'm going to get nice and soppy wet. I'm going to go directly onto the doormat here. Right. I'm just going to give it just a little bit of a wipe. I'm not going to go too much here. Now I'm going to take that same foot back here and step on a white sheet of paper. I'll lift my other foot up so you know I'm putting all my weight on it. Perfectly clean. Okay. Oh, wait a here we go. It's stuck <laughs> now, on the bottom. Let me show you something. But that is clean. It's not even wet. Right. If I if I didn't step on the doormat, if I just stepped in the mud, right, and then stepped on the piece of paper, that's what you're bringing in your house. That wet mud. Okay. Now if I just wipe my foot on the mat a little bit, this is cool. I got more paper. Yeah. Dude. I'll step next to it. But look at the difference, Dan perfectly clean. See the difference? So <laughs> I know this sounds like a ridiculous, I've, I've got the paper okay, here. Yeah, I'll get rid of the soggy one here. Simple press, uh, premise, but we all have mats to keep dirt out, but none of them actually tend to do the job like this. Right. See, Don's number one cleaning secret is properly mat every single entrance to your home. If you do that, you're going to cut your cleaning in half. Now, what, what I've done over the last couple days, Dan, I had two dump trucks come to my house with mulch. That's 10 yards of mulch. Okay. And my dogs just were playing <laughs> it all day. And it looks just like this. They were coming in my house, stepping on the mat, perfectly clean floor, okay? Nice. <laughs> so just to show you how this works again, this is just plain old mud, right? I'm stepping right in it. I'm going to step on the mat. I'm just going to give it a little bit of a wipe. There's so much area here. Now, when I step on this white sheet of paper, I want you to take a close look. It's, it's clean. <laughs> okay. There's nothing on the bottom of my shoe. Again, if I step on the mud and then I step on the paper, right? that's what you're mostly bringing in your house. Now you're mopping. Yes. <laughs> now you're having to clean up. Uh, it, the mat is doing the job. By the way, the mat, doesn't matter which size you get, they go directly into a washing machine into a dryer as well. Yes. Well, not the dryer. Or game. not in the dryer. We the don't air recommend dryer, the dryer right. because of the backing. Because of the rubber backing. My mistake. So, but they will go in a washing machine, or if need be, you can even just take them outside and hose them off. You can just, you know, when you wash them, regular laundry detergent, no fabric softener, because you, if you put okay. fabric softener in there, it's going to take the absorbency away from the microfiber. Uh huh. Now. 
These have a low profile. See how the door swings over it? Isn't it frustrating when you get a mat home from the store and you put it in, in your door and it just scoots out of the way? Okay. Now here, you can use it in your kitchen. I put one in front of my refrigerator that's got the ice maker in it, like this one right here, okay? All that ice and water that drips on the floor goes into the mat. Water okay. doesn't get through the mat because of the rubber backing. All right. There uh, it is as a bath mat. Wide, the 52 inches by 32 inches. Here, I'll hold it up so you can get a good... They're feel. big mats. They're big, yes. Uh, this, this is 24 the, microfiber mop pads. Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, for $34. And by the way, this brick red in the large is now already limited once again. Brown sold out last time we were on the air. So did the sage green. Uh, it's nice to have all the colors back in a sense, uh, inventory. What is the size of the smaller one? 20... Uh, 20... You know what? Let me look it up. Yeah, it's 24 by 38. Uh, so, I'm sorry, 26 by 38. Okay. So Had to look it up. My fault. The reason we made it this size, Dan, your doors are 36 inches wide. We made this 38 oh. inches wide. So, so no you can't miss it. You can't miss it. Now, the large one, right. you, could, you could put lengthwise in your mudroom. That's what I do because I have a 10-foot long mudroom. I want so my dogs to take a couple steps. All four paws hit. Exactly. Right. Okay, that makes sense. So We're going to say hello to, uh, and it's pronounced... On Dean, is that correct? On Dean is my name, yeah. Undine. 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 Nice, nice to have you with us. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Nevada. Uh, had you from Nevada. Have you seen these demonstrations before, or is this the first time? It's the first time, and I'm so excited. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Less cleaning. <laughs> yep. And well, you know, I use, you know, what you sell, you know, on the microfiber and that, but I have an ugly beige blah in front of my front door, you know, uh -huh. in my hallway. Yep. Yeah. This is great, though. It's I like pretty. And, and they are. <laughs> yeah, it's got a nice tonal pattern, and, and, and it looks great. Oh. Washable, which is really key. Oh, absolutely. And that it's it's going to look so terrific, because you know you have uh, the the winds, you know, like a, like monsoon winds and rain no. when it does come. <laughs> yeah. You know, so this is like perfect, and it's pretty. I can't stand it. It's so pretty. <laughs> well, it, again, Don Aslett is one of America's largest cleaning companies, and on Dean. They know to mat every door, but the mats that they usually use, they look industrial. Yeah. They're not warm yeah. and fuzzy and cozy. Well, and These are. Again, it took us five years just to make the loom that could accept the microfiber yarn. Okay. Wow. We wove it in the carpet backing, and then we put this, this neutral color rubber backing on it. Okay, if you've ever had a mat with black rubber backing, sometimes yes. that comes off on your floor. Okay, good point. This won't. <laughs> and, and you can see the profile. It's very thin, so any door is going to swing over top of this. That's why we made it this way. Oh, this is great, though, because the one that I have kind of like folds over on itself yep. when I open it, the door Exactly, sometimes. right? Yeah, and these don't tend to move around when you walk on them as well, so they're not oh. like little, little slip rugs. Yours is oh, on its is way. We'll get it to Las Vegas quickly. It's nice to have you with us. Thank you, Andine. <laughs> and thank you. I appreciate it. Be well. Bye-bye. Have a good day. Happy 4th. Thank you. Uh, you got to do this demonstration I, again. Okay. And I, just so everybody knows what I'm doing. Put, again. put down a new piece of paper because that one got okay. wet. All right. This, this is soggy mud. Now watch. I'm stepping in the same exact spot on this mat. This is the fifth time I've stepped in just this little area. Wipe my feet a little bit. Right. Come inside. White piece of paper. If you've got white linoleum, you're, 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 <laughs> this is your mop upside down for the bottom of your That's feet. That's really okay. a good idea. <laughs> the, and as far as showing you the absorbency, Dan, right? I'll do this on the small mat. All right. This is uh, over a liter glass right here, okay? Now, when I pour the, the water in here, what happens is it's going to start saturating into the mat, but isn't it nice that the water's going to go in the mat? and not under it, it's because of the rubber backing, the water will not go through it. So this will soak up. Now, if, if it's a large mat, I, I could probably pour over two of these in the mat. Okay. These are so great in the wintertime. You come in, you knock the snow off your feet, and it's gonna soak into the mat. Instead of being trapped <laughs> and traipsed all through your home. Exactly, now I'm, I oversaturated this mat. You'll never have that much water come in all in one shot, but it holds yeah. it. It's in the mat. But, it's not but going look at through this. the mat. It's but it didn't dry. go through. Exactly. And no matter how dirty these get, Dan, we made it so they go in the washing machine. 
This is nice. This is I call this a, a miracle cleaner because it does the work for you. Right. You're just stepping on it. That's all you have to do is step on it and, and it cleans. And they're your big feet. enough. We've got four dogs. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> That's 16 paws. Yeah. And 16 new ways to track. And how many the times house. did they go in and out in one day? A uh, hundred. Okay. <laughs> so watch the demonstration again. The brick red, by the way, we've got less than a hundred of those left in the red. The brown sold out last time, and so did the sage green. So watch this. And all you did was wipe your feet twice. That's it. But Step your on a feet white sheet of paper. are dry. Look at that. I mean, again, this is not a magic show. If I just step in the mud and then I step on the paper, that's what most people are bringing into the house. And that's what you're going to have to mop up. Right? If you step on the mat, okay, now I need another sheet of paper. All right, first. I'll get this okay. one out of here. We'll I work together, on the buddy. mat. Teamwork. Okay. Now I step on the paper. And, and it's dry. Okay. <laughs> So there, there really is nothing else like this in terms of doormats. Plus, there isn't. Plus, it is attractive. And again, they don't it's a shed. It's fern. Yep. They got the nice rounded edges. And if you want to put this in front of your mud room, like I did, put it lengthwise so you have to take a couple steps across it. Okay. See, and no matter which way you put it, lengthwise or widthwise, the same pattern. So anywhere where so you can potentially track moisture or dirt into your house. Yes or anywhere inside your home where you might have an access to, to moisture. Well, so here, here's like in thing. front of the kitchen sink or in front of the shower. Right, oh, it's, a, it's the best shower mat there is. You step on this when you get out of the shower okay. and you step on your floor, there's no wet footprints. And because if, if you've got a slippery tile, that could be dangerous. I hate to do this. It's this gone one's already. Gone. The large brick red is sold out. Uh, we'll do what we can to get those back in. But I will say this, it took us how many months to get the brown and the sage green back uh, four months yeah four <laughs> months hey, they take a long time to make because it's made no. on a carpet loom like wall-to-wall -wall carpeting right we didn't just glue microfiber to a backing that would that would fuzz off like the ones you buy in a store okay okay this will not shed they lay flat instantly when you take them out of the box maybe a couple of minutes because they come rolled up to you all right your door will swing over it you just can't here here's a let's do the sage all right all right <laughs> It doesn't matter what color, you know, I mean, brown is the most popular because it hides the most dirt, but okay. here, I'll just step right in the green part. But even here, you don't really see the mud, it kind of blends in with the floral pattern here. Right. And I step back here, and then boof. And, and the okay. darn piece of paper is dry, <laughs> and without mud on it. <laughs> this is the answer to keeping you know, 80% of all the dirt that comes in your house gets tracked through the front door. Comes in or on your the feet. The main entrance. Okay. Your, your pet's right. feet and your feet. It, like, it look. equates to what? How many pounds? 40 pounds a year. That's a wheelbarrow full of dirt. Right. And see, just one little footstep. If you come in on a rainy day with a dirt driveway. Right. Look at this. That's what you're tracking in. Not just one step. And that's what you wind. Steps. Yes. Right. It's all the way through your kitchen. Okay. So you don't think I'm cheating, I'm gonna step back yep. in the mud. Get the microfiber on. Okay, yeah, on here, first. here's yep. our microfiber mop head. Okay, yes. <laughs> right. so this cleans the floor, these clean your feet. Very simple, step in the mud, step on the mat, give it a little bit of wipe, not too much, doesn't take much, right on the doormat, or on the white sheet of paper. That's and impressive. No, no other mat can do but this. They can't, John, John it's, <laughs> the concept is, every mat that we've ever tried to put in front of our doors, the idea was that when you wiped your feet, your feet came clean. Right. The fact is, most mats can't actually do it. They're mostly for scraping the dirt off. This yeah. is for absorbing the moisture. Well, it's you know what? It's not dry dirt that I ever had a problem with. Right. Yeah. Screw it on my floors. It was the wet messes. Mm-hmm. When I let the dogs out in the morning, and they run through the grass, and I've got 16 <laughs> right. individual paw prints. <laughs> <laughs> we, we were mopping twice a day. Yeah. Which that's that's easy for a lot of people to do. Properly mat every single entrance to your home, you will cut your cleaning in half. It's in all of Don's books, it's the number one cleaning secret. Right. But here it is in the kitchen, in front of your ice maker on your fridge, so you don't get Anywhere you have spots. moisture. Right, in front of your dishwasher, if you open up the door and it drips. Definitely outside of the shower. The best shower mat there is, there it is, right in front of a step out shower. You walk on that, your feet are bone dry, because if you've got a marble floor, you know how slippery that is with yes. wet feet. Good point. This is this adds safety too to, to a wet foot. And they're soft as can be. Yeah, they feel that's if really you, good. If you have our mop at home, feel the plushness of the microfiber pad. Okay. That's how these feel. I know you can't feel this at home, but it's as plush as our mop pad because it is made out of microfiber. I, I wipe the dirt off the floor, the mats wipe the dirt off your feet. Okay, let me give you an update. Okay. Uh, the brick red in the larger size sold out. I do have the smaller size. We've had close to, what, 7,000 that have been ordered. 
So we have the, the brick red in the smaller size. We have brown still in small. The brown in the big size, that has been remarkably popular. <laughs> and we're getting limited now in the sage green in the smaller size. In the larger size, we have about 800 remaining. It's a 34 by 50 